But unfortunately, some breaking news that was emerged this morning that Kaz Crossley has now been detained in Dubai. Hey guys, it's Morab Morali. Hopefully you guys are holding well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this quick fire video. Kaz from Love Island's 2018 video it did emerge in 2020 of her, you know, taking substances, illegal substances within, you know, the UAE, Dubai, which, you know, they have very strict laws. Whoever released that, bad mind, um, she wasn't uh, heard anybody so you know it's unfortunate and now they've detained her so I don't know why she would have but sometimes you just do things and you don't think but she put herself in a position to be back in the land of the UAE by transiting to Abu Dhabi as she was intending to go to Thailand and when she went through to Abu Dhabi the system flagged her name up and you know the video came up not the video came up but her name came up of course and then they questioned her and then they have now at this moment detained her. They took her phones away, she was extremely scared and she was allowed to send an email to her family to let them know and of course this has now come into the press's light. So this is a very interesting situation and I wanted to really speak to my friends in Dubai as well um, to kind of have this discussion with them before I do a video just to really analyze the outcomes of what this could be. Now UAE Dubai they have recently relaxed their drug laws. That doesn't specifically apply to cocaine which they look like she was allegedly doing but weed and even though they've relaxed it, you can get three months for the first timer as well. However, they might use her as an example due to the nature of the press that has taken upon the story and is currently now everywhere. And they will probably use her as an example, use her as a Love Island kind of, you know, influencer example as they all go to Dubai. They say, look, we've now put her in jail for X amount of years. None of you guys come here and do that because you're going to get the same, you know, level of sentence and level of repercussions for your actions. So that is what they also might do, use her as an example, unfortunately. She was on her way to Thailand and it looks like they have detained her. There have been many other people who've had CBD vapes, um, weed oil and stuff like that and they've been jailed for 10 to 20 years. They've relaxed the laws on that now, so I don't think that would happen to her now, but we're not talking about CBD and weed, we're talking about a very high substance such as coke. And you know, whoever took that video of her, it can be proven that it was in Dubai due to, you know, data analysis of a video. That's not really hard to pull up for the Dubai officials to do so, but it looks like she probably will be in prison for a while. It could be a very long time, up to 10 to 20 years. That is the worst that she probably could get, which is basically her life. She's currently 30 years old. She would come out at 50 for the fact that she made that mistake of going to Dubai as she's passing through Thailand and she couldn't have gotten, you know, landed somewhere else. That is unfortunately an issue that people are reacting to it. Some people have sympathy for her. Some people, you know, I say, you know, it is what it is. You know the laws, why are you doing those drugs in the very strict countries, you know, actions have consequences. Me personally, I have empathy for her. I feel sorry for her. I don't, I wish that, you know, they would let her off on this one and let her go. You know, I don't think that she's a bad person. I don't think that she's somebody who's harmful to other people. So I feel like it's unfair on her for what has taken place. It was a silly choice for her to make to go through that route, unfortunately, but it could look like that they could use her as an example due to the nature of the attention and the press that this story is getting. Dubai does not like this. The UAE does not like this. They don't want to have that kind of press association in regards to substances. One thing about the UAE, don't mess with their image and you'll be fine. You'll be okay. But if you mess with their image, then you know they're not gonna like that and there's going to be harsh repercussions because they have high respects for their image. That is what they. this is also really about. And the press makes it worse and therefore they're going to be like, we now have to hold certain standards because we've got eyes on us as a country and we wanna set an example. Um, so that's, that's what they might do. It's always about political, you know, kind of messages as well, country kind of messages as well that, you know, people wanna reflect on when it becomes a major press issue. So um, without press, I'm sure it will still be serious. Of course it will be because of the substance being used. But because of that, they might give her a harsher sentence is what I'm saying, because they might use her as an example to reflect. And that is my deep worry. And hopefully that is something that won't happen. The worst, um, the best case scenario is three to four months, first timer and you can leave. But again, because of how serious substance is, I doubt that, number one. Number two, you know, there's the video of it. And number three, they might use it as an example. So it's unfortunate, but you know, this was breaking news. This was announced roughly six, 7 a.m. this morning and um, it's unfortunate that she was back in their lands and, and you would have thought that she would have avoided that. 
um, people are saying lock her up, lock her up or whatever. I just feel like people just don't have any empathy because if you were in her position, you would be asking for empathy. And I feel like we need to put ourselves in people's position before, you know, we have an opinion on somebody. So I, you know, just feel sorry for her and hopefully she's able to resolve the situation very quickly. My prayers are with her. Let me know what your thoughts are and I will catch you guys soon for another video.